This is Harlan. Now I want to reveal to you the world you live in. Notice how the world is controlled by idolatry. You notice that there are six billion idol worshippers in the world. You don't supposed to make any image of anything about God. And they've taken and made an image of the Word of God with the Bible. Now look at the world. Is Christ divided? This is Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, the Islam, uh, the Muslim religion, Judy, and Sikhism, and other religions. So watch this now. When the devil showed Jesus the kingdom of the world, he said, I'll give you all this. He said, I, I rule this. You see, and so Satan deceives the whole world with these idols. Now watch how your world's created. I want you to have a bigger vision and understand it. I know the mystery of God. I'm one of the few sons of God that's left on earth. There's only a few of us. And you'll only get this truth from a son of God because nobody else don't understand the mysteries of God. Now this is the way Satan controls people. Now you're living amongst 2 billion and 300 million Bible worshippers. From Canada all the way to Argentina. And I've been from Canada down through Brazil. And I know it, these people are controlled by the Bible. They pay tithes because the Bible says so. They go into all the world because the Bible says so. They assemble themselves together because the Bible says so. They're controlled by the Bible. And they got billions and billions of people. Now there's 1.6 billion Koran worshippers. And there's absolutely no difference between a Koran worshiper and a Bible worship. They're both controlled by books. This is Ishmael's children came from um, Abraham. He's the seed of Abraham, just like the Jews are. So now look at the world. There's a, there's a billion Hindus. This is you people in India. Used to, if you wore a leather belt there, they'd hang you because they worship cows and anything. They got the, the Gita, they call it, a book. And they go by that. So this is India. Bunch of people in India. Hindus, Shindus. And notice the world. Get a bigger vision. Now, why would anybody bow down to Buddha? You know, they get to this nirvana thing. You know, they use this yoga and meditation stuff. They, they try to put themselves in the spirit. Only God can put you in the Holy Spirit. And you think nobody wouldn't bow down to an idol. It's the same thing as the Bible. Buddha's the same as the Bible to them. So, you Bible worshipers, pay attention. Now, there's 14 million Jews. I don't know why Christians like Jerusalem and Jews. They're the ones that killed Jesus Christ. They make the abomination that made desolation. They don't believe in Jesus. They believe in the old law. They're the ones that brought forth the, the Torah and everything. They worship a book. And they worship under the law, the scrolls that come from. And so, understand your world you live in. You're surrounded. Every person you see is an idol worshiper. Now, this is Africa. In Africa, they'll worship anything. A rock, a snake, a frog, a tree. It don't make them difference. They, they're monogamous. They have a, a religion of everything, a, a animal they'll worship, any kind of thing. They'll put on a, some kind of a garment. And, and this is Sikhs. They have crazy religions. They're just crazy. They, all this is idolatry. You can trace it. They're all in the flesh. Now listen to me. I know the mystery of God. You have to be in the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus sent. Now look at your world. This is the way Satan controls the world with the Buddhists the Christian so-called Bible worshippers, Muslims and Hindus. Now, Jesus is not divided. He cannot control the world like it. See the world in which you live in. That's why God sent the Holy Ghost for us to be controlled by. Holy Ghost people controlled by Jesus. The rest of them are controlled by Satan. It's just that simple. Your voice will be heard again, Lord. Your voice will be heard again. Light will break forth in the morning to free our soul from within. Your voice will be heard again, Lord. Your spirit.
by your son. Then the disciples of Jesus became the anointed one. Your temple in our bodies, on our vocal cords you depend. When you speak through us by your spirit, 